and welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto 5. Thank you so much for all the love and support on episode 1 and 2. It is nice to be back even though I didn't leave. But for some weird reason I got a lot of comments where people were like, she's back! And I'm like, I didn't go anywhere, I was playing Dead Space. Anyways, we're playing as Franklin. I think he just went and had a tasty meal that they will not let me back inside for some crazy reason. So, the last episode we met Chop, who was adorable, like my favorite virtual dog. Well, is he? I've played a lot of games. I know how this works. I wish to go to Michael. I guess there is nothing else all. There is a question mark. Strangers and freaks. We have Michael. How big is this map? Can I zoom? Not like that. I want it. No, no. So I can't go any bigger than that. Wait. Ammunition. The heck though? I haven't even unlocked this scale of the map. So strip club. Yeah, we will eventually go into the strip club. Just not not right this second. So I kind of want to go here. Or should I go home? No, let's go there. There was a bit of a debate as to what car... Is it Michael drives? Because I'm assuming there... It looks like there's a logo actually on Franklin's car. So we can't really debate that one too much. But yeah, there was a debate in the comment section of the last video about what car... Michael drives. Now, I... Was it Michael's car though? Anyway, I said it was an Audi because it had the four rings on it. Someone said it was a Mercedes. Now, I drive a Mercedes in real life and mine don't look like that. So, I'm just saying! I don't think it's a Merc. It's not a murky Merc. And I could be referring to the absolute wrong car anyway. Skrrr! Okay, what is going on? Uh, if I have to tow a truck right in the beginning, I'm gonna be raging. Hey, you got off luck, There's a bike there. I don't much care for that either. Is it these guys? Ah! What the fuck? Give me that motherfucker. Hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, well, hey, look, I saw quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? A black man walking in vine, would you think he'd play PG sellout? You bitch-ass punk oh. motherfucker. Oh, shit, man. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, didn't have my, my contacts in, you know? I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, you trying to say that all black man, people are gangsters? if he's gay or not, man. The man is not married. It's his business. Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, yeah, look, I, I'm just saying that, that it's uh, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. Right? I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a killer and a murderer and all that great stuff. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, really, what kind of message does that send in our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. Oh, my God. God. This guy needs to get shot in the face. They all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Them! Fuck them! They're not magic! No, no, they're no better than me. They're no better than me. Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Miranda! Miranda, I love you, Miranda! Come on! Come on, come on it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Man, look, the fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh, no, I no, don't no, want no. anything to do with oh, this, you crazy! You, we get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come what on! The fuck is wrong with me? I mean, I drew the line at the hairy legs because I haven't shaved in a few days, but the muff? Nah. Why am I helping this guy? Okay, get your muff out. Yep, show us your muff. Come on. I never know what way they're gonna turn. I don't want to help this Hold guy. Oh, you're human, you bitch. <laughs> Man, they don't call her the C 
silicone slattered for nothing. She looks like a bloodhound in a wind tunnel. God, this I guy know. is oh, disgusting. Man, no this whole town's in therapy. He's a goddess. He's a whore. You ruined his life. Now make my day. Give me money. I'm a journalist. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Come on. It's too good. I want the prisoner of war shot. That's where the big zeros are. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Listen, I've seen some of the thumbnails well, these haters do with me, not. okay? I know how this works. Oh, yes. We got side boob. We're historians, crusaders of truth, my friend. Man, we're two creepy ass stalkers on. Oh! What? Who's this guy? Oh, no, no, it's that bottom feeder Madison. Shit, he's getting the money shots. Where's your dignity, man? <laughs> Miranda, we can't let him steal my exclusive. Okay, did we kill him or what? Stop the rival paparazzi? Alright, man, I can do this. I have to drive up next to him so Beverly can knock him off. Are you crazy? Now grow up and get a boy's name. Okay, buddy, let's get out of here. I'm already late for another stakeout. This guy, I can't believe I just helped him. Like, I feel dirty in myself right now. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins' muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director? They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, 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 come by the manor next week. Continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. Um, that was a very interesting way to start the episode today. Is Muff hanging a, a thing? Like, I don't know. I get it, though. As I say, I have had people talk shit about me and put my face in their thumbnails and because I'm not the ugliest person in the world, okay? I like to believe that, you leave me alone. That they would like to morph my face just so that people could be like, oh my God, look at her. Oh, so ugly. So I, you know, feeling kind of dirty right now. I was on the wrong side of that. What's up, homie? Hey, look, Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie, that's cool. Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Wait, so where does Lamar stay then? Hold on. Chop is now at Franklin's house. Franklin can interact with Chop. <gasps> can I give him a good pet for being a good boy? He's the best boy. I feel like we're going to have to... Uh, change the time on this one. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, fuck! This has got to stop happening to me. Bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my old bed? What the fuck? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down! What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that! You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! I was more concerned with the fact that the car that I changed wasn't there. And I'm in a shitty... Oh! That's the coach! Which guy? I thought he was the coach! Tennis coach! Oh, that's fucked up, man. Fuck's sake. Back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. He went left up here, dog. Oh, oh fuck's shit. sake. I'm, listen, okay? I'm angry driving. I've just caught my wife with the coach, okay? Hey, let's oh. just keep on going. Maybe we should have taken Amanda's car for this. It was a bit the faster! Get out the fucking oh, way! Fuck's sake! Fuck, man, I think we lost his egg. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Drive to the canyon, okay. 
Yeah, Michael isn't living this one down, is he? So, a misunderstanding. I was in my towel. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out the misunderstanding. Yeah, keep your eye out. She slipped and she fell. While getting out of the shower, and he happened to be naked. Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. Get back in the truck? Well, how am I gonna kick his ass from the truck? Burn his house down! That's what I would do. Some bitch was up in my gri grib. <laughs> crib. Burn the, the bitch's the house the down. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. Ooh. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. Stop so talking, bro. Worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. <laughs> I think okay, something yeah. else is about to bring you down. You look up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, who is she? magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! The wrong idea? Fuck. Are we going back to the slipped and fell? Your penis ended up inside of the JJ? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Listen, I would do the same, but I'd probably kill them. Uh-oh. You might want to get your jetpack, sir. I'm trying. It's not easy. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Look at the smoke coming out the back. That's fucking awesome. This is why you don't build on the edge of cliffs. Natural disasters happen. Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Yeah, Maybe watch you, you're fucking. Court, not of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. I can't believe that. So I remember saying, because Michael popped up in the back of the Franklin's car. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house. What? Oh, shit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You, you're a dead one. Green light. Green light. Martin Madrazo, give you green light. Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Ah. Shit. Green light. Green light. Mat Madrazo. Fuck you. Whoa. Oh. Martin? Martin Madrazo? Wait, am I being fired at? The motherfucking essays right behind. Oh, oh shit. All right. Help me deal with this. Help how? Get Getting phone. away? Keep trying. Oh, shit. Wait, I have to switch between them? I can't coordinate that good. Wait, what are you doing? Are you firing? If these are Mark Patrasso's boys, man, it's a lot more where they came from. Where are we on this? As a passenger, hold LT to aim and press RT to shoot from the vehicle. Okay. Helps if I read sometimes. No! The side of my car! Trying to get the driver. I'm like, what oh, side oh. of the road do they drive on? All right, all right. I, got one. I got one of them. Oh. Did I get Can another? Go. I got two of them. I'm reloading. Are oh, yeah. Damn it. Hey, let's 
Let's go. Let's leave them behind. How much distance we got between us? I think you slipped, man. Um, okay, let's go back to driving. All right, let's go back home. Wow. <sighs> Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. We'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knots. You okay? I mean, you did good, shit. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't bumped like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of mad. You just been creamed by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me. We handled it. Wherever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've no worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it. We see what happens. Kid, there's no use second guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah. Doing something for a change. Ha! Man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. I you bet he does know some shit. The shit I know. Yeah? You taking some scores? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About this city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. This could be cool. Oh, we got like a little partnership going here. How was I sliding like that? Right, Amanda. Get the fuck out of my house. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Oh fuck. That was the girl that was in the house. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. But don't give it to him! I wouldn't have given it no. to him. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've got a question for you. Did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? Because you had a uh, trespasser was doing you a favor. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will <sighs> need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. Shit. And I'm guessing here that uh, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> what? Didn't even look that big a house. That's nice. Shit. Come on, man. Okay. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Well, oh, you can man, blame I'm your bitch of a wife for that. Making Look, you so I only irate. Have one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Well, you kick Amanda out the house, you sell the house, that gives you a bit of money, and then 
Start killing people, selling Hello? drugs. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. <laughs> so, director, mode, actor, unlock. Amanda. So, yeah, in the last episode, I was like... How did he get from the kitchen to the back of the car so quickly? Because I wasn't really looking at the face, the body, the outfit, like any of it. Mm. Yeah, it's an out. Is it an Audi? Oh, maybe not. It's got like four houses on the front, you know. Dad. I think it's meant hey. to be an Audi. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. So where is that, then? Michael can now see Dr. Friedlander. I think we should go to therapy. I think what I'm enjoying the most about this game so far, it's very open. It seems like there's a lot you can do. Too soon to bring up tennis. Assume I'm not getting another coach anytime soon. So need someone to play with. Worried my grip is getting loose. That is a fucking cheek. That is such a cheek. I don't know. Like, if my partner cheated on me, in my own home like that, like in my own bed. I mean, I don't know why that makes it so much worse. That makes it so much worse. <laughs> I don't know why that makes it so much worse, but if they cheated on me, they'd be out of that fucking house, like instant. I don't care if we have to pay the mortgage. I don't care. Get your shit and get gone. I need to go get some driving lessons. Right, let's have a look. Um, so I wish to go to therapy. It's going the completely wrong way. So I think the car is meant to be an Audi, but obviously they weren't allowed maybe to have the actual four rings on the car. So I think it's an Audi. We'll just go with that. I don't know what side of the road to drive on. It's this side. So I want to do a lot of the side stuff. I feel like in earlier GTAs, I was quite bad for just going ahead and always doing the story, but I really like these characters. Your car is the shit. Thank you. I, I agree. I can't drive down that way. I have to go. Oh, no, I'm stupid. Isn't this where I did that run? She was psycho, like she was an actual psycho. I keep forgetting to say it, you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. We're going on the GTA 5 journey just now. I haven't given up on Dead Space. I'm just a bit scared of Dead Space. Right, where? Where, 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 where? Here? My therapy in a helicopter? <laughs> Wait, where? Where, where, where? This house? It's definitely this. Oh, there we go. I hate therapy! Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? Uh, my wife's I'm a whole. I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. 
You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. You're like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I love his face. He's I mean, like, I gotta make really? some money. There's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, also, I mean, Doc, did you see the I'm aliens? One there was aliens the, the other day. Another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Reject advice, accept advice. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking. Okay. I like these kind of things. Um, but I think I'm, it's, it's my fault or it's not my fault. Well, I don't feel like the anger outbursts are his fault. Hear me. Hear me. Because he was put in the, the situation he was. And maybe I need to go to therapy. But I... You know, when something really bad happens, you do tend to kind of lash out a bit. You know, I said I'd kill the guy. So maybe these therapy sessions are good for me. <laughs> I'm going to reject that. I really just want to be happy, Doc. That's so bad. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? Well, you know, I... I been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where Getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute. That's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't cut him off mid-sentence. He's having a fucking breakthrough. See you next time. Okay. Wow. One of your patients just had a breakthrough. And you just made that all about money. Oh, we're out of time now. Get out, Michael. Go kill some people or whatever it is you do. You know, therapy fucking sucks, okay? I think what he was thinking was that he needs to get out of this town. That this town is making him miserable. What's this? Tea? Car wash. Well, it's a bit too far away anyway. Let's go home and I guess play tennis with my cheating. I hope. I wait a minute. Here, here, wait. You wanna be a prick to me? I'm gonna steal your house, car? 
Michael, my money, where is it? You do mm. not want me to visit you again. Next time will be so much worse. Ooh. Do I look like I get money overnight? Huh? No. I was gonna block all these people. These people are causing me negativity and I just stole my therapist's car. So there you go. Whatever. You get paid the big bucks because my life sucks? Well, my life ain't gonna suck right now because I stole your car. I wanna throw this to the comment section, actually. I've kind of gone over, so I've never gone to therapy for, um, I don't want to say mental issues because that's insensitive. I've never gone to therapy for like depression or maybe I don't understand how I feel kind of thing and I need to kind of talk it out with someone. I had to go to therapy because my life changed because I ended up with chronic pain and for some weird reason, they sent me to therapy to basically be like, get used to your new life. And I didn't like it because nobody even knew what was wrong. We still don't. And it's a whole other subject. And they were just trying to tell me to get used to it because nobody had the skills to tell me what it was. So for me, therapy was very, very negative, very frustrating, having to kind of be talked down to. Well, it's like, well, Susie, this is just how it's gonna be now. And you know, these things happen in life. And that'll be 300 pounds for half an hour of your time. Thank you. What I was trying to say is, what do you think about therapy? Do you believe that therapy works? Or do you believe that sometimes people they kind of need to make a change in their life if they're really, really down to the point that it's affecting them that badly. I always believe that people get very comfortable where they are and if it's making them miserable, we have to get out of our comfort zone and try and make a change. It's hard though. It's really, really, really hard. Therapy with Susie, there we go. There we go. You don't need to pay the big bucks. Just come back to me. Subscribe. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotion. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being me. I feel for Michael. Those hermaphrodites born without genitals. Tricks up our sleeves. Just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still love you. Hold on to yourself. Oh my god, he's about to get it. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Oh my god, your TV's going out there. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why Whoa. don't you do something? Oh, settle down, Besides Jimmy. Just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well. Nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. I we'll feel for Michael. I really do. And I'll show you just what you want to see. What do you mean? Are you not able to ride a bike? 
This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Oh my god, your game will still be there when you get home. Yo, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Jimmy. If I'm god, he's here, such a little shithead. See, Jimmy, talking to you, Jimmy. You get to stay in your bedroom, probably get everything you want because daddy's rich, yeah? And you get to be a little shithead on headset, yeah? With the biggest TV that I've ever freaking seen, I'm playing on like a fucking 20 inch monitor, whatever. Some kids, some people in general, like they don't appreciate anything. And I'm with Michael on this one where it's just like, what the hell? Okay, maybe they have a bad relationship and Michael clearly has some issues from the things that he's done. But Jimmy, like, he stole his boat for fuck's sake. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your boat. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but- Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a Jesus liar. Christ, Jimmy! I I all those things one time or another, right? Just what? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Can you stop, Jimmy? God, it must be so hard. So hard for Jimmy. God. Here we are, the bike rental place. <sighs> Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, what's going on, brother? I don't know, like, I understand that it is difficult when you don't have a good relationship. I don't have a good relationship with some close members of my family, so I do get it. It's just the difference is, I wouldn't speak to them the way that Jimmy speaks to his dad. Hey, you cool. Two bites. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. I want the green bike. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. Uh, hold that to cycle. Okay, wait, I wasn't even ready. Jimmy! Whoops. Into the pier? Alright. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Hey, Pop. If you're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. Lie down, old man! You bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. Oh! You'll die first, old man. Right after you buy the TV. You're a sore loser. He's kind of miles behind me Don't right now, isn't he? Don't give him the pleasure. All that smack talk ain't gonna put me off my stride. Whoops! I'm in the. Hey, buddy. We're still running tomorrow, Fight. right? You're I was in the completely wrong. Section just there. I don't want to be like too far ahead of Jimmy because I just feel like someone's gonna come along with a gun and try and kill him. <laughs> and I feel like he is being a bit of an asshole to Michael, but I don't know. I feel bad. I feel like I, I want them to to sort their shit out. Let's go, 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 go.
Sorry, Jimmy. No matter what you think of me, your old man still got it. I feel like I'm barely even like breaking a sweat right now. Where is he? I win. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Oh, God. Okay, and dive! Ooh. This is nice. Hold X to swim. Oh, it's really nice under here. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I know we're basically going onto this boat <laughs> just to kill a whole bunch of people. I wonder if they can see me coming. That is a nice yacht though. I watch a lot of Below Deck. It's so pretty. So swimming will also improve your general stamina. I would love just once to like rent a boat like that, but my motion sickness, like, if there was any wave whatsoever, that would ruin it for me. Like, I've been on a couple of cruises, and uh, one went through a typhoon in Japan, and the other one was just a bit choppy, so I don't know if I'd do it again. Okay. Um, any clothes that I can stick on, or we just, we're just going. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> oh my god, go. Michael! Oh, I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Hey, cool, man! Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Dad's going over! He's going over! Yep! <laughs> You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Go to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm oh, God. Are we seriously stealing his jet ski? Look at that guy's body! He's like a Barbie doll! Shit, nice. They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! If you say so, Trace. Oh, my God. They oh firing? We got Tracy shit, on here. Oh, Tracy. Just getting in with the wrong well, crowd. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when do TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Just go, okay, go. Hey, turd buckets, if you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the Sea Shark will be impounded. Oh God, I'm just, I'm not very good at driving this. Really? Come on, let us go. Okay, I'm gonna try the R1 thing. I wouldn't let you go. Off, you stole asshole. my jet ski. You're We're gonna have to like. You psychos. Oh, they gone? You 
See? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. Surprised that she's not like my brother. Are you kidding me? Okay. No, it's not okay. Not at all. Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. oh. I know what a twat, honestly. I'm Team Michael here, okay? Feel bad for Michael. Oh my god. Asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. And he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Oh, teenagers, they get so dramatic. Oh, Michael. I would do the same, like, if my girl was there, I would kick everyone's ass. Oh, man. And if I was her, my dad would kick everyone's ass. And as for the son, I mean, he's kind of acting like my brother did at that age. My brother was a pain in the ass at that age. Ooh, triathlon event now available. That's fun. It's a good way for me to get my stamina up again. Should we find, like, try and phone Tracy? To be like, I'm sorry. Yes? Look, Trace, I, I'm sorry. You ruined my life. I've given you everything, babe. If you've seen how your mother and I got brought up. Are you calling me to bore me? I called to apologize. Well, you've done that. Goodbye. Love you, Angel. Aww. <laughs> I do feel really bad. Like, they're a pain in the ass, and obviously, like, he went to therapy, and he's like, they're pushing me, and blah, blah, blah. But in the same breath, you can tell that he really, really cares for them. And he's scared. And I think he's more scared because now he knows that he's made that fuck up and he's gonna have to basically get back in the game and start having to do some really shit jobs. But that was fun. I really enjoyed like spending a bit of time. Oh, the police car. It was nice like spending a bit of time with the family. Okay. Which car to steal? I don't quite like this one. Is that a beamer? It's a K. It's a Karen! No! Why are we stealing a Karen? It's funny, I was in Costa the other day. And I was talking to Steve Joe about the name Karen. And how <laughs> it's just been ruined. Like, I knew so many Karens in high school. It was just a very popular name. But now. I genuinely feel like if you have the name Karen, it's like, keep your hair long, don't be an asshole, don't ever ask to speak to the manager, and just behave like a cool person, okay? Because if your name is Karen and you're acting like that, oh, it's just not good. It's not good. There was a time as well where I think the name is Shaden was another one i want to see what this like look there's a t and a p like what what does that mean i don't know what that means let's go and see lamar no. yeah like there was a time where and i think this one was south park maybe but i think south park ruined the name sharon sharon for a bit how many of you have watched the new south park episode something going on over here that's right Bob one more day and I'm a retired man corn and potato chips one and two at night <gasps> what the hell Jesus what the hell's that all about help somebody I'm trapped I can smell 
gas! Get me out of here! Oh my god. How? Get the bulldozer to move the pipes! And hurry, please! Stay bulldozer, together. where, where, where's the bulldozer? Oh god, I'm not gonna make it! Where is the bulldozer, you guys? Come on, come on! Am I crazy? I don't see a bulldozer anywhere. Hurry up! We don't have long! Ah, ah, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it! Hold on! Hold on! Oh god, I'm not gonna make it! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, come on! Hurry up! We don't have long! What do I do? Hurry, please! I smell burning! What do I do? Oh no! No! Oh no! Have you guys seen that South Park episode of um, Harry and Meghan? It's so funny. It's it's just like so realistic as well as to how people actually feel about them. I don't understand them. Like I don't dislike them in any way. I just don't understand them. I get it. Like families have drama. I'm going through like a pretty big one at the moment and it's like pissing me off most days but see if I was making a point of like writing a book and outing them about it I might do that eventually be quite funny I wouldn't I wouldn't do that so to be so famous when it's like the royal family and things like that I think it's more just like what were they hoping for were they just hoping that more and more people would dislike the royal family? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't know. Also, rest in peace to that guy, because that's probably what would happen in the real world, too. If I was your only... It's fine. If I was your only savior... Well... Sorry. <laughs> there would be no savior. Scares me, man. I didn't know that, like, that was a thing. That you could do that. I want to be able to, um... Hey, it's my buddies. I want to be able to, like, rescue people, but I couldn't. Who are you? Okay. Is this Lamar's place? Hey, like dog sign. Be wait of dog. Well, Chop's not here. Chop is supposed to be with Franklin. Fuck you, Lester. <laughs> you gonna let me in or what? Oh, it's Lester. That's right. I was gonna say, why would it be Lamar? I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? 
Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? You it's are about wide. to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll, I'll find something. Just like the old days. Aw, I kinda like Lester. <laughs> Should I? I don't know. Uh, go to the suburban store in Vinewood. So where's the dog then? Was there something else? No, I'm leaving. Leave me be. What is it with men and backpacks, though? I don't see the problem, but I have read many articles where they go on about, like, this man was spotted with, like, a rucksack, and it's weird, and it's like, but did it put all his stuff in the back, and did it make it easier for him to get from A to B? Well then, shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying that because I have to go away in a couple of weeks to London and I'm taking a rucksack, okay? When I go traveling, I take... I have a rucksack that was given to me by Konami. It's not what you think. It has my name on it. They made like a full thing for me. But it also has Metal Gear Survive all over it <laughs> so don't hate me okay it was gifted but it was a really really awesome bag so i just take it everywhere with me but i always wonder is there some over the top metal gear solid fan that might come for me one day and i should probably come for myself because i am the metal gear solid fan right where Ah, suburban. There we go. I need a new car. My engine is like hanging out. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? She is a Sorry, you're not allowed to say the C word on YouTube. It gets, uh, gets offended. Buy a suitable outfit. Well, I quite like the red shirt. Oh man, we should just get that one. We are branding till the end. This is where it's like, I like these, I like these. And I'm like, why can't I have the red one? It's right there. Ah, oh. go for this one. Ew, no, definitely not. It's in your store, honey. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. It's the backpack, isn't it? You're just... She wants me. She wants me for the backpack. And black. 100% no. I thought you were going for geeky, not creepy. What? But this isn't... I thought this was geeky. What's this? Oh, that is so geeky. Okay, what about this? Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Okay. And do you have any trousers or is that enough? Then what's this? Is this them? A 
feel like this is something my brother w- like would wear, and I am so ready to throw you under the bus for that. Look at this. Throwing you under the bus for that. There you go. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Thank Bye you. Now. I'm gonna get this job. You'll see. And I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you. Well, too bad. I quite like the white top with the jeans. Thought my car wasn't gonna start for a second there. Yes, it is missing half of the engine, but it's fine. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Act entitled? Okay. Ah, God. You mean like every 18 year old that exists right now? They're not all that bad, but there are some. You know, I'm so glad I grew up in the times that I did. You're just jealous, son. Have you seen my outfit? Do you know, it, it takes years off of him. And it's a sunny day, so why, why wouldn't you wear this? Yeah, I'm so glad that, see, when I was 18, the world was very different. I had only had a PC for one year. Hey, hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we had to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh my, you know, it's- Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bowed up, so. Wait a minute, do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Ooh, okay. It's really sad, because I actually speak his language, and I'm like, nerd! I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. You know what though? Oh, it's okay to be a nerd. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. That is so oh, cool. Um, Look. I would take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so <laughs> If you're so normal. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Click an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. I don't know what to touch. So I guess we want to try and shut these My down. My fixing is gonna be With that? way down today. <laughs> okay. See, I don't have the manual on. I keep coming back. What kind of virus you got here? Wow, your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? It's so stressful. They gotta send me on another one of those seminars. Well, they keep this one at the front, man. It really wants me to check out the nips. I need to write some product, bro. Him, I'm feeling the itch. Hmm. God sakes. Who is this? this Who's this meant to be? It's fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> okay, My I'm going. I'm going. My son wrote this. That little shit bag. There it goes. Damn it, these stupid viruses. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? Give me a second, will ya? Okay, let me close these. We're getting some weird Rocking things going up. on in the headphones. Get you in the right headspace. 
And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. That's a This guy is something else. What are you smoking? He really did get me in on this outfit though, didn't he? The outfit actually worked. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. No one bother me. Like, what is this? Is this like a Make Guitar Hero game? meeting? Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye. See you later. Sit, Don't stop me on the way out. Look back. Oh god, that was not very nice. <laughs> you're going to have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. The foot bag? Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing head milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Uh, I drown in mucus. It's your I have to say, when I worked in offices, oh, I have oh, actually oh, had to wow. leave notes like that before. They were kind of passive aggressive sometimes too. Right, let's go. Uh, where did I park my car? Where? 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 Damn it! I can't run, but I want the red hey, car! Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Can we please Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country is going to make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero hey, looks good and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Jeez, what are you doing? What are you doing? Unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Oh my god! Oh shit! Nice to see that the AI is just as messed up in this game. Okay, I wanted the red car, but I. Sorry, I didn't trust the driver wasn't gonna run me down any second now. I just don't understand the rules of the road. I just don't get them. I will learn though. It's like driving on the right. So strange to me. I want to be friends with Jimmy. I just realized I spent this entire episode playing as Michael. So in the next one, we will swap to Franklin. This is such a nice house. Oh my god, you guys are so lame! No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Bucket tits! She's such a brat! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me. America loves you. You are in the final. <laughs> Recorded live from Oh the God. God. Okay, sorry, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. Wait, wait for Jay Norris to pull out this, this phone company. and then give him this a call? a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. 
And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. What the fuck? The Life oh. Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal computer. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Who? <gasps> oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! Wow! in my back garden. <laughs> Les, that was heavy. You watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. That was insane. Hey, is that my car? Oh. Wait, that's the car I just stole, right? Whatever happened to Amanda's car? We drove it in the second episode, I want to say, and then I chromed it up. It looked sick as anything, and then it's been gone ever since. So, yeah. I was gonna say there was an option to play some tennis, if I remember. Unless that's gone. You and me on the court. Let's go. This is so strange. Like, she's a cheating hoe and she's still here. How long we playing? Um, I think I just accidentally skipped the tutorial. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um... Okay, let's just do that, I guess. Oh, no, 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 it was one game, one set. Surely one game's. Hey, at least we still play tennis together. God, I wish that was code for something. Yeah, well, I'll be your new coach, I guess. Oh. Shit. That's not a fault, though. You get two. Nothing says I love you like letting me win, my darling. Yes! Woohoo! Take that, bitch. Oh, she wasn't happy about that. I love tennis, for the record. It's like one of my favorite sports. Oof. Jesus, will you fuck up, please? Oh, at your age, you must really be feeling... Oh! That was sick! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay. Someone turned their alarm off. I'm practicing here. 
Oh, bitch. You look like you're about to have a coronary. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling good about this one. Well, the alarm was putting me off. Nice! Yes! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Uh, you might want to step back just a little bit. Oh! Yes! Well, at least I hope you learned something. Well, at least you won't kill me now. Okay. I win. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Is that good for my stamina as well? Okay. Thanks very much for the game. That was a... I actually really enjoyed that. Takes me back to my Wii U days. Wii tennis. Wait. There's two cars here? Don't think there was always two cars there. Alright, you guys. I'm all out of time for this episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying Michael's story in the next episode. We will swap to Franklin's and see how Chop is getting on. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye!